Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for looking at this video. Remember to subscribe if you like this content and welcome back. So today I want to go through a few of the Samantha Dion Baker or Dixon Baker, I'm not sure. Definitely Samantha Baker. Draw your day books. So I found three. Um, this one I have bought a couple of years ago and then I found uh, the second which is uh, targeted for adults then I found a third that it's targeted for kids and since I love drawing uh, things that look like children's drawing maybe because that's all I can do <laughs> then I decided to get it in any case um, the first one I got is called uh, Draw Your Day, an inspiring guide to keeping a sketch journal. So this is great for people who journal, who like uh, drawing um, about things that they see. I'll give you a quick flip through, too much talking. So it has the contents here, getting started, benefits of drawing. Uh, create a drawing practice, celebrate mistakes, tools and materials, and then she gives you ideas for drawing. Introduction, getting started. Beautiful drawings. And the uh, great ideas for journaling. As you can see, she integrates the graphics with the text, which is something that I like doing myself. In my case, I usually do Bible verses in my drawings. Really pretty. And then recently, um, on a visit to a bookstore, I found this one. I'm not sure if, uh, let's see which one came out first. If it's here anywhere. That's strange. Usually books have a release date. Maybe it's in the back. Does not say it. Oh, it's right here. So this one is from 2018. So it's Dion, Samantha Dion Baker. So that's 2018. And then these, let's see if it has it in the back too. I guess it does. So this one is from 2021. So I was right, this was released more recently. Then the one for children was released on, this one is going to have it in the front, isn't it? Yes, 2021 as well. Okay, so let's go through the second book and it's called Draw Your World. How to sketch and paint your remarkable life. So your day, your world. And then let's look at the contents. So again, there's a section about tools and materials, a part one about technical lessons, a drawing session for all levels. Um, then there's the picture here. Some inspiration there. Do it quickly here. So there's perspective, symmetry, imbalance, proportions, light and shadow. Let's move to the back. Different media. Some ideas, what to draw in everyday life. Okay, 
is a very well made book and I think if you're looking for inspiration on what to draw this will give you what you're looking for all right so let's compare the contents of these two which are the ones that are more targeted for adults so here so there is a tools and materials which is right here as well then let's see there's ideas for drawing here and then there's inspirational and motivational lessons so here there's symmetry perspective proportions and this one you will not see any of that this is more like the drawings for inspiration and to sketch and journal so this the bigger one this one goes more into the uh, technical part of it and how to do it now if we go from here into the draw your day draw your day adults draw your day for kids how to sketch and paint your amazing life so then in this one it's a beautiful book absolutely stunning so here you have why draw your day what you need to draw your day how to draw your day what to draw putting it all together a visit to her studio some inspiration and encouragement at the beginning there if you can see the graphics are uh, more loose more like for children which is the target here some materials some introduction to watercolor the brushes creating your toolkit how to draw your day this is the part three there are so many ways to draw some practice here the difference the main difference besides being for children is that this one will give you space to do it so you will find some blank pages to practice the techniques um, color theory theory you can say that word choosing your palette adding color shading so it's like a combination of the other two in a more uh, simplistic way draw your mood other things that you can draw then again space for the practice there's challenges some ordinary things that are really fun to draw it's very interactive Then there is a part five, which is putting it all together. So this is where it helps you how to sketch, how to journal, um, putting all the elements, the, the art, the words, in a way that it makes sense, that is balanced. If I'm not mistaken, I saw this same drawing in the other book. And part six is a visit to her studio. And then um, the back of this book is all for you to practice. So I will say this is not necessarily for kids it could be appreciated by children absolutely and the drawings are are more simple than the other from the other books 
but I am loving this one. Oh, but I'm a kid at heart, so I'm probably biased there. In any case, if you want to get them all three, they do complement each other. If you want just one for inspiration on how to journal, this is the one. If you want one that's going to give you the techniques on how to draw, um, how to do, how to get familiar with the technical part of perspective, balance, shadowing, etc., then this is the one. In this one, um, there is a little bit of that in the, but it doesn't go as in depth as in the Draw Your World one. And when it comes to size, the children's one is bigger, but remember all this is practice sheet. So it will be the same amount of pages, about the same as the Draw Your World one. Well, this one is uh, smaller. Uh, it's, uh, it's not paperback, maybe it is called paperback, but it's a little, probably higher quality than a regular paperback. Uh, according to this, it retails for $16. I never pay full price for books. Usually get them way cheaper on Amazon. And this one, uh, $18, same high quality paperback. And then the one for children is a better, higher quality binding. Pretty book, pretty book even to look at them and get inspired. Um, but if you, let me show you like some of the things that I do and why I learned from that uh, sketching journaling technique. So usually I, when I paint, when I draw, that's what I do. I integrate painting with uh, letters, usually a verse from the Bible. So that's probably why I identify a lot with the way that she describes or works her sketching and her journaling. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you were undecided on any of these books, I hope that was enough information. Otherwise, you can always ask me a question. So I'll be more a question. Otherwise, um, thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you again. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.